Hello, my name is Pooja. Welcome to the Sunday special episode of Around the World. We come up with this program every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. In this special program, we talk about the news which enhances your understanding of global politics. We will discuss one such news in today's story. At present, Britain is facing a political turmoil. Three different persons have served as the Prime Minister of Britain in the past few weeks. Boris Johnson, who was Prime Minister for more than two years, resigned from his post. After Johnson's resignation, Liz Truss was appointed as the Prime Minister of Britain after a long wait. Truss served as the Prime Minister for only 45 days. After Truss's resignation, Boris Johnson called off his vacation in the UK in a dramatic fashion and it was believed that he would contest the elections for the post of the Prime Minister. But he refused to contest the election and Rishi Sunak, who is of Indian origin, has been elected as the Prime Minister of Britain without any opposition. Indian social media has strongly reacted to Rishi Sunak's achievement. It was widely discussed that how an Indian origin person became the Prime Minister of Britain. Secondly, how a person of Indian origin becoming the Prime Minister of Britain would be beneficial for India. We will talk about both these aspects in today's episode. We will also talk about the countries other than Britain where people of Indian origin are serving at the top political positions. First of all, let us talk about Britain. At present, there is a Conservative Party government in the UK. Apparently, Rishi Sunak also belongs to this party. According to the latest rules set by the party for the post of Prime Minister, the Prime Ministerial candidate needed the support of at least 100 MPs out of 357 MPs to join the leadership race. However, the scale varies every time. Last time when there was a race for the post of Prime Minister between Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak, then the Prime Ministerial candidate only needed the support of 30 members of Parliament. But this time, the condition of having the support of 100 MPs was fixed to expedite the election process. By doing this, only a maximum of 3 MPs could stand in the fray, as the number of MPs of the Conservative Party is 357. There is a rule in the election process of the Conservative Party that first voting is done among all the candidates who are contesting for the post of the Prime Minister. Then the question arises, which persons are entitled to vote for these candidates? Voting is done by the registered workers of the party and their number is about 1,60,000. In this voting, the candidates who get fewer votes are eliminated and finally two candidates are left in the foray. Then, the MPs cast their votes in favour of these candidates as per their preference. If both the candidates get an equal number of votes in the voting, then the final decision is taken through the online vote of all the members of the party. The party also organises debates between the final two candidates in different cities of the country. These events are called Hastings. In Hastings, Prime Ministerial candidates debate about politics and answer the questions raised by the audience. In Hastings, it is also noticed that which candidate has influenced the people more with his or her vision. Party members also back a candidate of their choice in Hastings. However, Rishi Sunak is not the only Indian to hold the top political position in the world. For instance, Kamala Harris, an MP of Indian origin, is the Vice President of the United States of America. Furthermore, people of Indian origin are serving in top political positions in many countries of the world. Apart from Britain, there are six more countries which are being ruled by the persons of Indian origin. In Europe, Antonio Costa is a prominent name among the leaders of Indian origin. Antonio Costa is the Prime Minister of Portugal. Singapore's President Halima Yaqob is also of Indian origin. Halima's father was of Indian origin while her mother was of Malay origin. The roots of the ancestors of Irfan Ali, the president of the Caribbean country Guyana, are also connected with India. The roots of Mauritius Prime Minister Pravind Jagannath are also connected with India. His forefathers hailed from Bihar. Prithvi Raj Singh Rupan, the president of Mauritius, is also a politician of Indian origin. Vavil Rama Klavan, the president of East African country Seychelles, is also of Indian origin. His ancestors also hailed from Bihar. Chandrika Prasad Santoki, the president of Latin American country Suriname, is also of Indian descent. Then a pertinent question arises that how a person of Indian origin becoming the Prime Minister of Britain 
would be beneficial for India. It is believed that with Rishi Sunak becoming the Prime Minister, the economic situation between India and Britain will improve. It is more likely that a free trade agreement between India and Britain will be signed in the near future as both the countries are already having talks on signing this agreement. However, both the countries have still not signed this agreement. Rishi Sunak recently made some statements regarding the free trade agreement with India and it hints that after Rishi Sunak becomes the Prime Minister, this agreement will be sealed. As the British Finance Minister Rishi Sunak recently stated that there is a lot of potential for a free trade agreement between India and Britain in the field of financial services. Then another pertinent question arises that how India will benefit from the free trade agreement? Under FTA or free trade agreement, custom duties, regulatory laws, subsidies and quotas on products under import-export between two countries become easier. One major advantage of FTA is that the cost of production of the two countries between which this agreement is signed becomes less than rest of the countries. Due to the benefits of FTA, many countries around the world are signing free trade treaties. It helps in increasing the trade and gives impetus to the economy. It also aids in increasing the global trade. It creates employment opportunities and huge investment opportunities. Obviously, all these benefits ultimately benefit the economy. Therefore, it is expected that once the FTA gets signed, it will boost bilateral trade as well as strengthen the relationship between the two countries on the economic front. In such a scenario, it is believed that after this agreement, the trade between the two countries will double by 2030. On the other hand, Rishi Sunak has criticized China many times in his statements. Hence, India is confident that it will get the full support of Britain on the issue of China. On several occasions, Rishi Sunak has been seen taking soft stand towards India. Therefore, it is believed that during Rishi Sunak's tenure, Britain's attitude will be positive towards India and the British government will support India in taking strict action against its adversaries. Now we come to the next segment of the Sunday special episode of Around the World. In this segment, we will talk about other significant international news. The sovereign parties of Quebec City have called on Canada to sever its ties with the British monarchy. Parties raising this demand are led by the Quebecois Party of Canada, which has introduced a symbolic resolution in this regard in the Canadian House of Commons by terming this arrangement as an expensive and archaic symbol. However, the resolution is unlikely to pass in the Canadian House of Commons as such a decision requires the approval of both Houses of Parliament as well as the consent of all Canadian provinces. Canada is a constitutional monarchy whose formal head is the British Crown. After the recent death of Queen Elizabeth II, now King Charles III is the official head of Canada. Recently, Ibrahim Traoré has been sworn in as the interim military president of Burkina Faso, a West African country. He took the oath of office amidst tight security in the capital, Ugadugu. Earlier, Paul Henry Sandogo Damiba was the president of Burkina Faso, against whom Ibrahim Traore had a coup a few weeks ago, citing the disaffection of junior officials and dismissed him from the office. In January 2022, Sandogo Damiba had also seized power of Burkina Faso by organizing a coup against its last elected president, Rakhmak Christian Kabor. Burkina Faso is located in the south of the Sahel region. It faced a coup last month for the second time in eight months amid deep insecurity in the Sahel. According to the joint sources of the US, South Korea and Japan, North Korea is preparing to resume nuclear bomb tests for the first time since 2017. North Korea's preparations for nuclear bomb tests have increased the concerns of South Korea and Japan the U.S. allies. The U.S. has warned that if North Korea conducts the nuclear tests, then it will use its full military capabilities, including nuclear capability, to protect its allies South Korea and Japan. Significantly, if North Korea conducts the nuclear test, then it will be North Korea's seventh nuclear test. North Korea is testing weapons at an extremely high rate this year. It has fired more than two dozen short and medium-range ballistic missiles in the recent weeks. It also includes a missile that was fired over Japanese territory. The US Biden administration has announced to accord temporary protected status to Ethiopians facing deadly armed conflict. Now, 
Ethiopians living in the US will not be deported from the US in the next 18 months and they will also get work permit in the US. The US accords TPS status to a nation that is involved in situations like deadly armed conflict, pandemic, disaster or civil war, and it is not safe for its citizens to return to the country safely. At present, the US has accorded TPS status to citizens of Afghanistan, Yemen, Haiti, Somalia, Cameroon and Ukraine, as well as other countries of the world. However, this is the first time that Ethiopian citizens have been accorded the TPS status. Let us note down the question based on today's episode. What is a free trade agreement? How will Rishi Sunak becoming the Prime Minister of Britain affect the relationship between India and Britain? Do you like our program? Do give your suggestions regarding this program. Please share your response in the comment section. We will be waiting for your response.